sensei once consoled a grief-stricken boy as his older brother prepared to leave for battle. He said, Child, why do you cry? You are both part of a family, and a family is a bond that cannot be broken by war, by strife, by force, or neglect. And more importantly, you are brothers, and brothers you shall remain, despite time, argument, and even distance. Choosing this jungle for your training was no coincidence, Leonardo. Legend says that a long time ago, ancient warlords ruled this land. Jumping is a basic ninja move, but jumping further sometimes requires extra effort. You can reach extra height and length by jumping again while in the air. Coins are a currency that allows you to buy many interesting things. But to do so, you must first complete your mission, and then replay it. Not quite like New York. A few years ago, I found a hidden temple by exploring this same jungle. Inside, in a sacred chamber, I placed a medallion known to possess great mystical powers. Mind your environment, my son. Learn to lean onto the edges of the surface to grab it and climb or stay out of sight. Sometimes letting go of an edge when you think the time is right is the best thing to do. Throw yourself from one edge to another. Simply move towards the other edge, performing a jump at the same time, and grab onto it. Find the temple and reach the sacred chamber, Leonardo, and claim the medallion. I'm gonna have to go higher if I want to find the temple. Stand between two walls facing one another. Then jump on one wall and jump again in the other wall's direction. By repeating this action over and over, you will reach the top without having to use edges. Yeah! When you jump against a wall, you can run upwards for extra height and can also leap away from the wall to reach new areas. The more you use your combat moves, the more you will learn to harness them. Time well your kicks to keep your enemy far away from you to allow more time to focus on other possible dangers. While you are in the air, do an attack move and see the ground shatter under your feet as you land on it. Cleverly finds exposed edges and crevices to climb from one edge to another. Yeah! <gasps> 
here she is. Wow, Splinter, what you're hitting. It's incredible. Splinter taught us every time we take out a bad guy, it charges our inner strength. And once 10 guys are eliminated, we can use that power to devastating effect. But taking damage will break our karma and drain all our power. This is the bomb. Whoa, don't think I'll ever see something this beautiful again. Day, Master Splinter. Collecting that medallion is one of the proudest moments of my life. I was very proud of you for that, Leonardo. But the adventure that followed your return home made me even more proud of all of you. You were proud of us? Yeah, we nearly broke the family apart. Sometimes, Raphael, adversity is necessary to strengthen a family bond. And reminiscing one's hardships helps as well. Donatello, Michelangelo, why don't the four of you tell me the story of this helmet in your own words so that you can see for yourselves how much you have all grown together? All right. I love this story. And that's because you were always a huge fan of the Night Watcher, Mikey. And why not, dude? The Night Watcher was pretty cool. Sure, he was a creepy loner and all that, but he was just one guy. And he was taking out entire gangs on his own. But nobody knew anything about the Night Watcher. It's like one day he just appeared, you know? If you cannot contain your anger, your best option is to focus that rage in combat. My anger feeds my rage, and my rage feeds my power. So the more damage I do to those people, the angrier I get. Get it? So, no rage, no rage power. He always seemed to hunt in the worst parts of the town. All right! I focus my attack to hit more than one enemy with a dashing move that will disorient. Splinter says there's always a right time to strike. So when you're ready, unleash a devastating kick attack and make the other guy cry. Here's Johnny! Winning ugly is still winning. At first, nobody had ever heard of him, so he had to prove himself. All right! The best way to protect yourself against enemy attacks is to dodge his moves. It raises your chances for victory every time. All right! But he always won, so eventually the criminals learned to be afraid of him. Go 
Normally, dodging your enemies using evasive rolling motion will buy you time to get in a better fighting mood. This is when I finally had it. And when I say finally, that usually means it's final for all my enemies. wasn't his thing. He was in the hot spots. That was no place for subs. Dude, no way. Nice if everybody got along, everything was pretty and all that. But the world ain't like that. Night Watcher was beating the bad guys at their own game. It's Johnny! All right! use my size to climb walls using my defensive block move, but unfortunately, it won't work on all the And there was lots of beating to do. That might be true, Mikey, but crime didn't go away. Crime never goes away, dude. But the Night Watcher sure put a lot of it out of commission. So many enemies against him. How long can a lone wolf last? I don't know how long a lone wolf like the Night Watcher can last, Leo. But I know this. Nobody ever beat that guy. Nobody. Night Watcher. I always thought he was pretty gnarly. Maybe, but the police disagreed. They thought his methods were too drastic and too violent. Raphael, 
Did you really become the Night Watcher because you thought the police were not doing enough? Nobody was. You remember what it was like, Sensei. Crime was everywhere and innocent people were scared. It wasn't right. So I decided to become the Night Watcher and give the criminal scum something to be afraid of. And besides, dude, that costume was styling. Well, Mikey, personally, uh, no offense, Raph, I never really liked the Night Watcher's style much. I prefer a more sophisticated, high-tech approach. Oh, what a surprise. But Don, you had sophisticated, high-tech enemies. That is true. I thought it was just gonna be an ordinary night for me. So I did what I usually do. I went out looking for components for my latest invention. And, as usual, I was taking the opportunity to get a little bit of exercise. things we're going to get that night. <laughs> Running along the walls allows you to access remote areas and permits you to surprise your enemies by moving around them. Things were going pretty okay. When the ceiling is too low, use your ball staff to cross over to the other side of a gap. I even had a few opportunities to try out my new aerodynamically enhanced bow staff. I could use it to hover over narrow gaps, and it was really cool. Everything was business as usual until I saw something off in the distance. Electronic sparking. So naturally, you just had to follow it, right? Even though it took you to an unknown part of the sewer, which was falling apart and probably unsafe. Well, yeah! Right on, bro. It took me a few moments to realize I was in a strange part of the sewer, because... You got distracted by a shiny object. Let him tell it, dude. He's getting to the wicked part. That's when I found the underground headquarters of a secret clan. There was all kinds of high-tech stuff. It was incredible. I, I, I wanted to meet these guys.
Tech security in there. I'm talking things like an electric barrier that you would not want to touch. This is awesome! <laughs> it so happens tight security is just my thing. Am I good, or am I good? It's that guy that totaled my boys! Waste them! <sighs> so... primitive. Monster indeed. <laughs> Look who's talking. I'm a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, and the name is Don. Choosing the turtle as your totem was your first mistake, monster. You know, you talk way too much for a living statue. You are not fast enough! Incredible! 
station appears to be electrified, and the septic tank is filling up fast. We'll try to confuse you, strange words, but it won't work! Shock you? We will meet again, reptile vermin. Is it me or is the water level rising? Mind if I borrow a couple of things? was an electronics gold mine. I found a ton of circuitry I could use, and there were so many cool gadgets that I had to use the van to carry them all. No kidding. Our cash flow is a bit in the red, right? So I got a job playing Cowabunga Carl at children's parties. Cowabunga Carl? I'm so glad I wasn't here for that. Dude, you have no idea. I tell you, bro, these kids today, they're vicious little monsters. So I barely made it out of there alive, and I went to where Don was supposed to be waiting for me. But the van was gone. What are you complaining about? You made it to the van, okay? Yeah, by the skin on my shell. Don? Uh, come in, Don. Mikey? Is that you? Who else would it be? Uh, listen, I'm in the middle of something right now. Can you come to my location? Oh, sure, Don. No problem. Thanks. I'm gonna try to get as high up as I can so nobody sees me. Come on, Mikey. The costume isn't that humiliating. Awesome. Hey, Mikey, have you had a chance to try that modification I made to your nunchucks? Not yet, but thanks for the idea. Swinging his nunchuckos in the air using his blocking technique will enable Michelangelo to hover above and suddenly fly away. Oh, 
awesomely super sensationalistic, bro! Booyah! Totally awesome! Booyah! Yeah. Awesome! It's the parade! Which parade? The double ICBF parade! Well, that doesn't clear anything up. Double ICBF, International Independent Comic Book Fair. Don't you know anything? Oh, better stay away from that. Dude, with a face like yours, I wouldn't talk. Dawn! Oh, try to look on the bright side. Dude, the bright side is glowing toxic waste.
Hey, this is a private game. Freak. Again. lucky break I've had all day. Even the most powerful ninja needs to recuperate eventually, to regain focus and strength. Hey, Don, you are still in New York, right? Your signal is getting stronger, so you must be getting closer. Whoa! Looks like advertising is finally going to be used for something useful. Awesomely 
super sensationalistic, bro! Ah. Oh yeah! Totally awesome! Awesomely super sensationalistic, bro! I'm gonna give you a big hug because you're my brother. I'm having trouble getting through all this wind! I'm in an abandoned building. Come on, try your nunchucks again. I think you're right above me. Finally. Let's hope the elevator works. Second floor, more purple dragons. Don, did you park the van near a purple dragon cloning machine? There you are! I've got your pizza! Are you hungry? Dude, are you kidding? So it looks like you guys all managed to keep busy while I was gone. Totally. But it was so good to have you back, dude. Yeah, we really missed you. From the moment I saw you, 
I could see that your experiences in South America had changed you. Forced to rely only on yourself, you had grown a great deal. I remember I was so excited about telling you what had happened, that we were having trouble meditating together. Truth be told, I was also eager to hear about your adventures. 